Hola, hola, chicos. Good evening. How are you? Nice to see you back here. Good evening, teacher. Nice to see you. Sorry, permítame, chicos, que ahorita no lo veo porque yo soy ciega. Permítame que lo estoy limpiando bien los lentes. ¿Cómo estamos, chicos? ¿Qué tal? A ver si ya lo veo. How are you guys? Good. How was your day? Very busy today. Busy? Oh, yes. What happened? You had a lot of things to do or, or what happened? Work and, and homework in the, the course, but it's bien, it's connected. Oh, I see. So you had something regarding the course, right? Okay, I see. Well, but it's better being busy sometimes because you your mind is a little bit more... Uh, well, your mind, um, how can I say this? Está un poquito más ocupada, valga la redundancia. So you don't lose any time, right? And if the day is very uh, productive for you, uh, that is good. It doesn't matter if you get busy or you have to do a lot of things. Actually, most of the times I think that when you have any disorder or any issue, sickness or something, the best thing that you can do is try to be busy all the time. So you don't have to think about all the wrong things, right? So it depends of age. But I understand too how delicious is only to, well, you know, be in your bed the whole day, asleep. I know it's it's amazing because I'm in, in vacations. I'm getting, uh, right now waking up at 10, 10, 30, 11. So I, I'm enjoying my life. Because when I came back to the university, I'm going to die. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be dying, believe me. Permítame que yo no sé qué tiene mi cargador. Que no sirve. Qué raro. That is very weird. Permítame, chicos. Okay, chicos, hicieron... Eh, bueno, hay una tarea tal cual. Pero quiero saber si seleccionaron su... Eh, su propuesta favorita. You pick it? Yes. Yes, you did it. Awesome. So because yes. we're going to do that activity at the end of the class, as we usually do, and we're going to start with another one. All right. So I'm just going to wait this to turn to, to get. I don't know what's happening with my platform today, but it's kind of weird. But anyways. All right. So, chicos, les voy a compartir pantallita y les presento. Let me see. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. So can you see the presentation? Yes? Good. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Bien, chiquillos. Eh, como pueden observar aquí el día de ayer, estuvimos viendo eh, which one do you prefer? Because we were discussing, right? Some things. Uh, we also remember what I told you about which, comparisons, superlatives, and those things, right? And today I told you that I was going to teach you a little bit more about the topics. So I'm going to move on. Well, we already have this one. They are perfect for you. Esa conversación ya lo hicimos. El día, bueno, este también, ese tema ya lo hicimos. No me equivoco. Oh, no, 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 perdón. Esta no la hemos visto con ustedes. Esto se va a ver mañana. Permítanme, chicos. Esto fue lo que vimos el día de ayer. So this one. All right. Yesterday, I started uh, explaining to you a little bit about this topic, right? We were talking about comparisons. We were talking about uh, the preferences that we have regarding adjectives. So we are going to discuss a little bit about it, all right? So, uh, Patty, can you help me reading the first uh, two examples from here, please? Yes. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the letter one. Which one do you like better or more? I like the letter on better or more. Okay, thank you. All right. So in this one, guys, what can you see regarding the examples? ¿Qué podemos observar de los ejemplos? Los escucho. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, chicos. 
¿Qué pueden observar en estos ejemplos que tienen de características? Otto, tell me. Eh, el uso de one, por ejemplo. El uso de one, good. What else? And different uh, prefer or like. Prefer or like, good. Options, right? Pretty good. ¿Qué más vemos ahí? Mm, el uso de, de las palabras que terminan con R. Good. Important. Thank you, Selena. What else, Carlos? Uh, it's about a decision. Decisions. Awesome. Pretty good. So, guys, what is the thing regarding the comparisons that we are doing? When we are doing comparisons, we also use two different things. We have one choice and another one. Right? So we get the opportunity to discuss about two or more options that we have. So that is the thing regarding comparisons, what Carlos said. Uh, you remember what I told you yesterday about the use of which? ¿Quién se acuerda de lo que expliqué ayer de which? Que me recuerdo. Mm -hmm. Que se usaba como conector. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué más? Sustituir al yeah. sujeto. Sustituir al sujeto. Thank you. Yes. Which, guys, we are using them to uh, substitute, in this case, the verb. The, well, the subject, in this case, not the verb. It depends. So, in this one, we are using which as a substitution. They're just, uh, substituting what they are saying or the two options with which. Very good. What about one? ¿Qué recuerdan de lo que les expliqué de one el día de ayer? ¿Quién se acuerda de Juan? Creo okay. que siempre iba después del... Creo que... Después como del objeto, como el primer ejemplo que dice, mm -hmm. that one sí. is cheaper than the wood one. Good, yeah, it might be. What is the traduction of the of one? ¿Cuál es la traducción en este contexto de one? ¿Cómo que les funciona? Ayer se lo dije. Mm -hmm. No? Ok, 50 veces para mañana. No, 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 I'm kidding, guys. Ok, ¿para qué utilizamos one, chicos? Es cuando decimos, yo prefiero el tal. Como artículo. Recuerda que yo les dije que existían los artículos en inglés y que eso se veía como un artículo. So, one, you're using them to say an article. For example, ¿cuál es el que preferís? Uh, yo prefiero el de lana. El de, ese es el uso de one, ¿ok? Para hacer esa unidad. O la de, depende, pues, si es un femenino o masculino. Ahora, chicos, también me mencionaron en la ER. ¿Qué hablamos ayer de la ER? al final de este tipo de palabras. ¿Quién se recuerda? ¿Quién se recuerda de la ER? Para las comparaciones. Ok. ¿Qué me puede decir de eso? A ver. Que es un adjetivo superlativo. ¿Con superlativa es una R o con cuál es? ¿Cómo? ¿Con cuál es la R, chicos? ER. ER, terminación ER. ¿Con cuál la utilizamos? Comparativo. Comparative. ¿Y cuál utilizamos con superlativo? EST. Very good, thank you. Cuando utilicemos un superlativo, chicos, siempre vamos a utilizar EST. ¿Por qué? No lo sé, es una regla gramatical. Ok, chicos, tengo la cámara apagada porque estoy conectando la laptop, porque se, no, se me va a apagar. So, that is why, ok. So, utilizan ER, very good, con comparisons. Ahora les pregunto, ¿en todos estos pueden ver alguno que sea un superlativo? Todos son... ¿Uno que sea qué? ¿Superlative o todos son comparatives?
Ven algún superlativo, todo es comparative. 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 Why? Better. Mm -hmm. Cheaper. Good. Porque termina en ER, ¿verdad? So pretty good. Entonces, chicos, ¿cómo hacemos los comparativos? Hacemos la famosa pregunta, which one do you prefer? I prefer tal, prefiero esta, o lo que estuvimos haciendo el día de ayer, que eran literalmente el, de por, el decir por qué algo es mejor o peor o más que o menor que que algo. Que se acuerdan que ustedes me estaban presentando sus presentaciones, valga la redundancia, y que me decían, mi propuesta es mejor por esto y esto y esto y esto y eso. O el mío es más barato que tal cosa. So, ese es otro tipo de hacer comparatives, right? That is another option. That one is cheaper than the wool one. It's nicer than, it's prettier than, it's bigger than, it's more stylish than. ¿Ok? Ahí estamos comparando. Y aquí, ¿cuál es la característica de este segundo? Que en el segundo, sí vamos a colocar las dos opciones. ¿Es más barato que? Ok, por ejemplo, la blusa rosada es más barata que la blusa blanca. Tenemos que utilizar los dos objetos. En la otra, cuando contestamos a la pregunta, pues no es necesario, right? Porque estamos contestando a una WH question. All right, so basically that is the topic, guys. Do you have any questions? No? Teacher, es que me puede poner la lámina anterior solo un ratito, que se me olvidó capturar la pantalla. Of course, there you go. Thank you. For sure. Ok, luego chicos, tenemos la segunda parte, que es la explicación de lo que ya les dije, ¿verdad? Tenemos el comparative form, se hace con un adjective, plus er, plus then. So, si tenemos a small, que es su base form, le agregamos er y le agregamos then. Y luego se hace la comparativa. This dress is smaller than the other one. Pretty good. ¿Qué sucede cuando tenemos uh, adjetivos largos? En este caso, por ejemplo, más que, uh, more beautiful, for example, más hermoso, right? Acá no podemos decir beauty, beautiful, right? We cannot. So we use more or less u otros conectores que le sirvan para acompañar al adjetivo y siempre cumple la misma función. So that is basically the topic, guys. Any question? No? Sure? All right, eh, perfect. Eh, yo, 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 yo. Sí, dime. Um, eh, ¿Cómo hacemos para identificar cuáles adjetivos se les puede poner ER y cuáles more? Good, good question. Mira, mi consejo toda la vida va a ser que eh, solo vean los que sí sienten que suenan mejor y hagan la famosa de cuál suena mejor, suena mejor con esto o con aquello. Porque es lo mismo que con los verbos regulares e irregulares cuando te los aprendiste, que tuviste que decir, um, es o de memoria o lo haces a la lógica. Eso aquí puede ser igual. Por lo general, cuando son eh, cortos, solo van a tener dos sílabas. Nicer, cheaper, uh, prettier, shorter, smaller. Solo son dos. Cuando por lo general tienen más, por ejemplo, es stylish, beautiful. Uh, ¿Qué otro quiero ver? Es así. Uh, intelligent. So, por lo general, cuando tienen más de, tres, más de dos sílabas, se consideran largos. Entonces, ya ahí les colocas el more, less, o lo que le vayas a colocar. Igualmente, mi consejo es que probé siempre con ER. Por ejemplo, stylish. Stylish, cuando le tratas de agregar ER, stylisher. No te suena ya bien, te suena hasta raro. Entonces, también como es stylish. Ok, es de tres. More stylish sounds better. Eso tiene que hacer un poquito de comparativa. Pero ese tip es el que yo siempre doy, el de, el, por lo general, cuando son cortos, tienen dos sílabas, entonces ahí solo va la ER. Y cuando son largos, pues tienen más de dos sílabas y ahí le colocamos more, less, o lo que se le coloca. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Any other question, guys? No, teacher. Sí, teacher. No. Ok, bueno, voy a asumir que no. Que no me hablan. Me hablan mis niños. All right. 
So guys, uh, we already have the first conversation, which is they are perfect for you. For tomorrow, we are going to get the demonstrative because I'm going to bring some things to you so we can discuss about it. Mañana va a ser una clase como la de los niños de kinder que le voy a enseñar juguetes y ahí lo vamos a hacer. Okay, so it's going to be pretty interesting. However, guys, we, that is the only topic that we have for tomorrow. Ayer, eh, bueno, tenemos el sentence of stress, que fue lo que ya vimos, que se acuerdan que estuvimos haciendo la, las uniones, ¿verdad? So we already have that too. And let me see, this, which one do you prefer? Is what we have read yesterday. And right now, we just have the comparisons with adjectives. So that is basically everything. I want to know if you have any question regarding all the things during the week. No? Bien todos? Okay, chivísimo. So, voy a dejarla de compartir pantalla. And right now, I'm going to go with the first activity. Okay, for this activity, I have five minutes. All right? So, we haven't practiced a lot of writing during these days. We're going to do that right now. I'm going to ask you to please write in this chat. Uh, it's already your, let me see, second week together? Second or third? Second, I guess. Second? Yes? Yeah. All right. So I want to know how you feel about the classes. It's time for you to write. So please uh, write how you feel with the classes, with the dynamics, uh, feedback, whatever you want to write about the classes. Okay? I'm going to give you five minutes so you can do the activity in this chat because I want to know how you feel and I want you to practice writing because we haven't practiced writing. So, do that? No? Okay, let's go. Escribamos, pues. En todo eso, yo preparo la siguiente actividad. Ok, chicos, dos minutos más. Un minuto, chiquillos. Okay, I have the first one. I feel very nice. The class are the classes are dynamic. Okay, acá, eh, Jorge, classes are 
Y si, porque estás usando are, tiene que ser classes, ¿ok? Y si no es class, is dynamic. Dynamic, sorry. I like the class, it's dynamic, participative, and I enjoy it. Ok, Pati, good. Reaccionando. Ajá, ya lo tenían hecho, lo que pasa es que no lo querían mandar. Ajá, no querían ser el primero en mandarlo, ya me di cuenta. It is a dynamic class I have learned and hope to continue learning. Good. Thank you, Cindy. And hope to continue learning. Yes, good grammar. Awesome. The class is very interesting and dynamic because we can share our ideas with the other partners in activities. Good, Jose Mario. Good grammar, too. Nice job. Okay. I'm feeling, uh, I'm, I am feeling okay with the way you teach us and I want to say thanks so much for the patience you have with us. Your methodology is so nice. Funny classes. Thank you, Alfred. Good grammar. Just methodology with Y at the end. <laughs> Only that one. But it, it's good. Thank you. In my case, I really like this class. It's very fun and learning things. The teacher is very funny and has an excellent level of English. Thank you, Carlos. I appreciate that. Good grammar too. Let's go with Selena. It's a funny class. Awesome, Selena. Thank you. The teacher is super good teaching. Okay. Acá, the teacher is super good teaching. Si estamos hablando de enseñar. Si ya te que super buena teacher, el ER. Okay. Pretty good for you. Let's go with Otto. In my eyes, the class is very interactive. It's not boring at all. Therefore, I really enjoy the classes. Okay. Good. And, and I suggest you also to say in my point of view, not in my eyes. Because in English, they mostly say in my point of view. Okay? Good ones. Thank you. I like the dynamics of the class this week more than last week. Uh, and activities have been better than in last week. Okay. Good, Jose. Awesome and good use of the, of the grammar. Pretty good. Thank you. All right, guys, perfect. So, quiero ver, ya tengo la mayoría. Solo, okay, perfect. That's very fantastic. Ah, uh, thank you. All right, guys, perfect. So, I feel very happy because I see that all of you is, are happy with the class. That is pretty good. And I like that you like the dynamics that you're making because you can learn from each other. I, I heard when I sent you to the breakup rooms that you discuss a lot with your classmates regarding topics. For example, uh, you said, uh, no, pero es que mira, yo opino esto, no, pero es que esto. Me he dado cuenta de que hasta se rebuscan con las palabras. Entonces, that is pretty good because you're learning from each other. So, I really like the class, guys, and hope you're still liking during the next two weeks that we have together. I promise I'm going to be more creative in some activities. All right, guys, perfect. So, en este momento, chicos, recuerden lo que estuvimos haciendo ayer, ¿verdad? De que tuvimos cuatro ganadores de las ideas. ¿Sí? Ok. Primer punto, porque solo tengo tres cámaras. Cuatro con el gatito, pues, pero... Uf, el gatito no lo, no lo puedo ver la cara. So. Ajá. Ajá, todos con la cámara. Ajá. José Mario no lo veo. A Sandra tampoco la veo. A Vicky thank tampoco you. la veo hoy. Ajá. Ajá, thank you. Ajá, sí, ya los veo. Nice. Miren, chicos, a mí no me importa si están comiendo, están en pijama, están tirados. A mí no me interesa, pero los quiero ver, ¿ok? Good. So, bien, chicos. El día de ayer sacamos cuatro ganadores. Espero que la mayoría haya estado aquí en la clase. Les quiero preguntar, ¿escogieron su ganador? ¿Escogieron con el que se van a ir? Yes or no. Honestly, guys. Cindy le di cara de que no. Sí, oh, ok. Es que así me hizo cara de no. Okay. Sí, sí, cogí, pero no sé si hay que decir algo, hablar algo. Ok, wait, 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 wait. So, quiero preguntar, porque eh, tenemos cuatro, se los voy a poner aquí en el chat, pero lo quiero reducir a dos, ok. So, vamos a poner aquí, porque ya sé que todos van a decir que el bicho, la mayoría, pues, pero sé que van a haber unas que no me van a decir el bicho, right? So, teníamos la primera idea, que era un trip to Paris. We have also Iceland. We have Jorge's one, que se recuerdan de que la de Jorge era de los 24 billones de dólares y eran los carros, ¿verdad? Esa era la de Jorge. Yes? So, guys, y la del bicho. ¿Que ¿Quién fue la yes. que puso el bicho? ¿José Mario? ¿That was you? Okay, yes. good. 
So, guys, can we reduce them to three or two? Okay, I want to know. Let me see. Let me do this. Raise your hand if you pick El Bicho. Anyone? Nadie le gusta El Bicho? Saco El Bicho? Okay, Cindy tiene El Bicho. Okay, va, espérenme. No me la pueden bajar. Okay, solo tres. Okay, so Cindy, José Mario, en Otto, el bicho. Okay, ¿quién votó por la de Jorge, que era la de los 24 billones? Okay, Carlos, Alfredo, en José. Okay, tengo tres chicos. También y... yo, o sea, por eso dos voté por el bicho y por Jorge. Uno, hija, uno, hija. Ah, ahorita, ahorita sí por, ajá, por el primero. Okay, por el bicho, good. ¿Quién, eh, but, ¿Por qué no hacemos algo? El de la Iceland y el de Trip to Paris basically is the same. So, las chicas imagino que entonces habían votado por el del Trip de París o el del Iceland, por lo que entiendo. Selina, eh, Patty. Ok, so, vamos a dividirlo esos tres. Eso todos los vamos a unir porque técnicamente es un viaje. Entonces, son tres cosas totalmente diferentes. So, guys, the activity is going to be like this. I'm going to create right now the breakup rooms and you need to get arguments for uh to discuss why your is best than the others is better than the others sorry okay why your team is better than the other why el bicho is better than the icelands and the 24 billions and you have to do that okay so your team has to be ready because everybody is going to participate okay y que va a pasar por ejemplo va a venir eh, jose mario y va a dar su punto de vista entonces, José Mario representa el team del bicho. Pero viene Selina y ella representa el team del viaje. Entonces, no va a contestar el que quiera contestar. Yo le voy a decir quién va a contestar. O sea, por ejemplo, va a venir José Mario. Ok, teacher, bla, 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 bla. Terminé. Entonces, yo, ok, Selina, contestale. Y Selina tiene que saber en el momento cómo formular la idea y contestar. ¿Qué otra cosa va a hacer? Solo le voy a dar 30, 30 segundos no, 45 seconds para que me den su respuesta. Entonces, si en esos 45 segundos ustedes no me dicen nada, lo saco. Lo saco y lo voy sacando. ¿Ok? ¿Se entiende cómo va a ser? Difficult? ¿So, so? No, right? You know what you're going to defend. Entonces, ya saben lo que van a defender. All right. Entonces, voy a ir armando los grupos, pero lo voy a hacer manual. ¿Ok? Entonces, asignar manualmente. So, acá le vamos a poner el bicho. That is going to be the name for your team, okay? El bicho. We have el bicho. We have the 24 billion. Le voy a poner a ese porque no sé al final qué era de todo. Y el otro va a ser the, uh, the Iceland. Okay, perfect. So, ¿quiénes eran con el bicho? Recuerden de los nombres. Era Otto. Selina, no, no, era Cindy y José Mario. Yes, correcto, correcto, sí. All right. ¿Quiénes iban con el de Jorge de los 24 billion? Ok, Alfredo, Carlos, José, permítanme. Alfredo, Carlos, José, y asumo que Jorge va en su team, ¿verdad? Obvio. All right. Yes. Ok. Selina, Patty, Sandra y Vicky irían con el trip, entonces, con el viaje. Yes. Ok. So, prepárense entonces, chicos. Nos vamos. Les voy a dar cinco minutos para que se preparen como equipo. Ok. Uh, what do you think about a bitch is better than the other? If... <laughs> Tenemos que decidir por qué es mejor el, el, ¿cómo se llama? El regalo de nosotros que el de los otros equipos, ¿no? Exacto, las ventajas que tiene. Entonces, el ¿qué? Con 24 millones puedes ir mil veces a Comprar París. Mucho. 
Ajá. Ahí, ahí le ganamos más de Recuérdense ganamos que le van a tirar, recuérdense que le van a tirar odio. Entonces ustedes tienen que saber también responderles con por qué el de ustedes es mejor que el del bicho y que el del Iceland. Tienen que tener argumentos directos para eso también. Don't forget that, ¿ok? Ok. Good. Ah, teacher, sí. eh, puede, ¿nos puede, por favor, permitir compartir pantalla para of que trabajemos? Por sure. There you go. Thank you. Ok, creo que a ustedes dos chicas les va a tocar solitas con Vicky, entonces, métanle, porque son tres chicas que tienen que defender. Teacher, excuse me, vamos a contar otra vez por qué el regalo es el mejor. Van a ser como un debate, es literalmente Ajá. un debate, entonces ustedes van a venir y por ejemplo, va a venir el grupo del bicho y les va a decir, el mío es mejor que el del Iceland porque yo voy a conocer al bicho. Entonces tú, su team viene y les contesta, ok, pero en el mío van a conocer todo el mundo y en el mío van a hacer esto. Va a venir el de los 24 Billions y les va a tirar odio a ustedes, ustedes le tienen que contestar eso, es un debate como un debate político, de defender sus ideas. Ah, ok. You have to yeah. get ready. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. More Bugattis. More Bugattis. Uh, he, he has... Uh, he has... Dan, Dan, ¿cómo se llamaba el del gatito? No sé. bueno. Jorge. Ah, Jorge. Es... Ah, sí, vos uh, Como de... He has the more expensive car than Jorge algo así. I don't know. No sé cómo puedo. No sé bien. Bueno, está bien, Tiche Coach, si le ponemos que es, es more handsome than the other ones. Is your point of view, guys. I mean, if you, <laughs> y, y si ustedes van a defender con eso y ganan, por mí no hay problema. Tiene mejores piernas. Con el bicho van a conocer alguien de mejores piernas, right? Stronger legs. Stronger legs. Okay, try to use super legs. Oh, eso sí es importante. Si van a la gramática, anulados. So be careful with the grammar, guys. Yes. More strong for. More strong. ¿Qué fue la regla que les dije? Stronger legs. Stronger legs, good. ¿Por qué stronger? Es strong. Dos sílabas. Strong. Remember. Okay. How are you guys? Good? Yes, good. Mira, yes, porque yes. ya acabo de escuchar de que les van a decir que el bicho tiene mejores piernas que todos aquí. Entonces, que hasta con eso les van a tirar. Mire, teacher, ya tenemos la propuesta en la cual no nos van a poder decir no. Ah, okay. no, no es propuesta, Ar es argumento. Es argumento. argumento. Ana, va, este, a todos les vamos a regalar una casa en París. No, es, porque, es, porque esa es una promesa política, eso no va a pasar. Usted me tiene que decir por qué el suyo es mejor. Porque tenemos 20 pues... millones. <risa> ok, si you want to, that is fine. Allá acabo de escuchar que mis niñas están diciendo de que ellas tienen islas por todo el mundo y que superan los 24 billones. No, Allá no, escuché que las no, piernas no, no, del no. bicho están mejores uh -huh. que todos ustedes. Y Eso que es trampa es porque solo es una. Solo es una isla. No, they have a lot of islands. Ah. They have islands around the world. And houses around the world. Ah, ok, ok. Yes. Think Lo bueno about es que it. una de las cosas también que hemos propuesto es que con los 24 millones que tenemos podemos pagarle unas tres temporadas a Cristiano para tenerla en la reserva, para tenerlo sentado. <risa> Um, yeah, you can. Good point. Well, I'm, I'm waiting to see that reaction. Guys, remember, you have to use the grammar, right? So I'm sending you back right now, so get ready. Okay? Okay. Agarras del pelo. Agarrense del pelo, pero no hay problema. Agarras del pelo. Agarrense del pelo. No issues, guys. But you have to, you have to try to do your best. Yes. And be respectful, of course. Quiero ver las, yeah. las, las, las cosas, vea. Aunque sí, quiero ver eso de las tres temporadas.
All right, guys. I'm, uh, eh, son solamente 30 segundos más. Okay, so estoy poniendo entonces el timer. Le dije 45 segundos, ¿verdad? All right, perfect. So I hope everybody's ready. Yes, it's going to be interesting, I guess. I'm, I'm wondering why. Okay, guys, everybody's here. Yes, everybody's here. All right, guys, perfect. So let's go ahead and start. I have some rules for you. Remember, um, yo voy a escoger quienes van hablando. Okay? Número uno. No Spanish, guys. A menos que no se sepan una palabra. Teacher, how do you say this in English? Y todo, pero no le voy a poner pausa a su cronómetro. Tienen 45 segundos por respuesta, ¿ok? So, si se pasan de eso, yo los corto y, bueno, van a escuchar la alarma, de hecho. All right? Okay. So, guys, who's ready? Everybody, ready? And be respectful, guys. Respetuosos. No se le vayan a salir ahí de la emoción, del hype. Ok, ¿qué equipo quiere comenzar? Ladies go first. Ladies go first? Yeah. Awesome. All right, so let's start with Patty. Patty, your time starts now. Ok. Um, the PC party is better because it's a wonderful place. And, and then, what? Okay, because I see the Eiffel Tower and the gastron is fantastic. It's the best dessert in this country. And the visit museum. And it's better beautiful uh, city. Yes, I have 10 seconds. Okay, okay. <laughs> Um, uh, Paris is a great place. Time. Okay. Time. Okay, let's go with Carlos. Uh, okay. Uh, in my case, I think uh, $24 million is better to one trip to Paris because we can go to Paris, I don't know, one million of time, so uh, Patricia can go just one time, and we and we have two uh, twenty four million, so uh, we can go whatever uh, we want. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You have ten seconds. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's all. It's all. Done. Okay. Good. Let's go with Selena. Wait, Cindy, sorry, Cindy. Let's go, Cindy, now. Hello. In this case, El Bichu. Uh, he has a strong legs. He uh, lives in beautiful place. Uh, he, ha uh, he has more money than me. Um, he has many cars. Um, uh, he is a good player, actually, excellent player. And uh, he, Hi. Alfred. Yeah, that's really nice what you said, but what about to pay him uh, three seasons and have him on the bench? So it doesn't matter if, I mean, how much money he can have. We have more money than him and we can buy a stadium for us, something that he cannot buy right now. He's not playing so good right now. So why he decided to uh, stop uh, playing in Manchester City? because he was not playing so good. It doesn't matter if he's so beautiful, but we have more money than him, so we can buy everything what we want. Also, 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 we can go, we can go ahead. Time. Ah. Good. Let's go with, okay, porque ahorita se agarraron del bicho. 
Okay, let's go with uh, Jose Mario. It's gonna... uh, sorry. And I think uh, Bicho is bigger player than the other one. And uh, he... <laughs> I don't know, it's the same. He gets more money than the other uh, players. I think it's another league, but the money is the reason for he goes to the other uh, country and get more experience than another league, and that's it. Okay, time, good. Let's go with the girl, Selena. Now. Okay, teacher. Um, France is a country that has it all. Wonderful uh, cities, charming towns, spectacular uh, land landscapes, landscapes, history, and delicious cuisine. Um. The, these are some of the reasons to be encouraged to visit. Time. Good. Jo uh, Jose. Uh, okay. Well, uh, okay, so 24 videos is better than, than, than the treat to the parties. Uh, with 24 mil millions, uh, uh, we can pay for the trip to Paris for everyone here and, and can enjoy the food and museums, all pay for everyone here <laughs> with 24 millions. Mm -hmm. Time. Oh. Okay. Time. Otto. Let's go, Otto. Well, I choose uh, Albicho. So, well, I just want to let you all guys know that, well, the bitch is a bitch. And, <laughs> <laughs> and well, uh, he's, he's the Champions League top scorer of all time. Is more handsome than the other ones. I'm talking about the players, soccer players, and well, he, he has more Bugattis than well, everybody here, I guess. Time. Um, okay, let's go with Carlos. Um. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think nobody can. Who say refutar? Refute. Refute the fact. Uh, uh, with money, you you can uh, <laughs> make all what you want. So you can uh, go to the parties. Uh, I don't know. Eh, contratar al bicho eh, <ríe> the money always won time all right what about patty again let's go patty okay um friends is there is a lot of uh history eh, you can visit the precise palace and see the luxuries of the time. Uh, now have a last king's the front light and see the gardens. And for me, it's an incredible place because um, a, 
is a, a wonderful um, time. Palace. Okay. Good. Cindy. Okay. I think um, one person alone can do anything. They need a team and they uh, co collaborate. Co collaborate? Co and they have a team where everyone wants to be better mm -hmm. and they don't work as a team. I think El Bicho is not bad. Um, in this case, uh, work, work team. Time. Time. Okay, good. What about uh, Jorge? Can you speak? I don't remember because I was comiendo. So I don't know. All right. So Jorge is eating. Jose Mario again. Oh, Jose Mario. Sorry, sorry. Hola, 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 hola. From the same team. Sorry. Okay, Jorge, let's go. Okay. Um. <clears throat> um. My case uh, is better. Um. Uh, because um, we I called to Nate uh, um, the money uh, <laughs> to to cut it. Uh, what? Uh, how do you say, teacher? Caridad. Charity. Okay. Uh, money to. Caridy, um, Charity. Um, uh, time. Okay. Uh, All right. Time, okay. time, time. Okay. So let's go now with Jose Mario. Uh, okay. The Vito has. So, El Bicho cannot do. Uh, I mean, what, what this? Uh, I mean, our our money uh, has more benefit than, than the other ones because we can go ahead and pay for a trip to go to the moon. You, we can see the stars. We can see the moon. You can see the the Earth. Actually, something that El Bicho cannot do. Um, even if you have an island everywhere, that's fine. But you you are not able to afford paying for a trip. Um, to go to the moon. It's something that we can do. And not just uh, one time, we can do it as many times as we want. Time. All right, guys, perfect. So I'm going to stop here. So, en base a lo que escuché, I like your point of, of views. Uh, that is true, what the guy says, that they can go, oh, Carlos, tell me. No, 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 Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ok, so, ¿qué sucede? Me gustaron mucho lo que dijeron de que es cierto, los 24 aviones les puedes comprar todo. Entonces eso, si bien es cierto, colapsa a las chicas. Because that is true. Porque sí colapsa a las chicas en que ellos tienen todo el dinero para comprarse todas las islas del mundo que quieran. Entonces, ahí llevar, se estarían comiendo a las chicas. Ahora, con lo del bicho, si bien es cierto, es que ustedes lo vendieron como que fuera él el regalo. Literally. But uh, if you make the amount of how much he owns and how much he is by a person regarding insurance, do you know how much uh, he is the value for Cristiano Ronaldo regarding insurance purposes? Or billions, guys, too. La onda so, es eso, uh... que Cristiano Ronaldo, para seguros, 
para acciones y demás, si bien es cierto, su patrimonio no lo dice, pero él vale billones para un seguro, ¿me entienden? Entonces andan así, close, close. So, en este caso, las chicas las absorbieron del dinero, unfortunately, girls, but very good job, así que aplauden a las chicas, aplauden a las chiquillas, aplaudenmelas, good, good girl, good job, girls, pretty good. Entonces, tengo a los del bicho y tengo a los 24 billones. ¿Son millones o billones? Millones. Billions. Billions. Ok, porque me decían millions y otros me decían billions. Entonces, I don't know, right? So, puntito menos por sure. eso. So, now, what are you going to do? Porque aquí están los finalistas. Ok. Les voy a dar chance a que vayan participando los que quieren y lo van a debatir conmigo. Okay. Okay. Estoy medio loca Yo me apunto. Okay. So, el el es suyo, díganme. Los escucho. Mm, okay. Eh, 24 billion. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Only that. 24 billion. Yeah. What else? What else, guys? Ah, uh, what about you? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in one side. I'm just fine. I'm just debating with you regarding what I think or some things that I need to ask you about so I can hear your argument. But I need to hear an argument, not only 24 billion, you? Okay, you were, you were saying something uh, a little bit about the insurance. You said that yes. uh, the insuring, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, the Cristiano Ronaldo uh, cost uh, 20 millions uh i don't i guess I, i'm not so sure but what happened is that uh we we don't have only uh 20 millions we have billions of dollars so we have more than that amount so that means that we can go ahead and pay several insurance not just the one that who pays for cristiano ronaldo we can pay others for sure now i want to ask you what do you, what can you tell me about the taxes that you have to pay for everything because you know that when you are when you have that amount you need to get taxes right taxes pay for insurances for everything so how much of your whole amount is going to represent the taxes that you have to pay if you want to buy the stadium if you want to buy everything in the world how much is going to cost you to buy those things and uh do a declaration for those things how much is going to be or around how much it doesn't matter the amount because uh, as we have so much so, money in our pocket. Okay, so if the amount doesn't matter, so if you lose the 60% of your whole fortune only in taxes, insurances, and those things, it doesn't matter because if you get 24 billion, you're going to lose the 60%. So the rest is fine if you lose the 60, more than the half. It's fine because yeah. you're paying tax and it doesn't matter because you still have some billions, but you have the 24. Because we're many more money, making more money uh, because we're businessmen. What kind of so business do you have? We have like rental cars, we have uh, insurance, uh, we have like, uh, we can go ahead and, and create judge. How se pronuncia? How you can create that? Uh, we have like a place where our engineers uh, can create uh, the documents and can create the part we can go ahead and um have help for another uh okay business. so what, what you're saying is that you have people that does that for you because everybody wants to work for you because you have a lot of money but you're saying that they are creating documents engineering is creating documents so basically that is even legal guys engineering is creating documents that is legal for them or not? Depends. Uh -huh. depends. It depends. Of what? Or uh, what kind of documents? What what yes, kind yes. of document is legal? So if I'm uh, an engineer right now, I can create any kind of document and it's going to be legal because I'm an I am an engineer. Yes. In my Why? case, I am I am an engineer. I, I can create uh, I don't know manuals, for example. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So Yes, we can create. You can do it by your own. You don't need any other signature or something else? No, nope. only a specific documents. Okay, so that is the thing. He didn't specify any. He just had documents, right? He didn't specify them. 
So I don't know what kind of documents his engineers are going to create, right, guys? So if uh, they say, if they say that they can create documents, I don't know if they are legal documents. Are they? It's the same. It it's the same thing. Uh, when uh Christian has to declare taxes, we don't know how much money he's declaring. Uh, and remember that he's not in one country. He's in Portugal. Well, he's traveling around the world. That's true. Uh, does he? I mean, is he paying taxes? What What can Bicha lovers tell me? Uh huh. Is he paying taxes really? Mm hmm. Se me callaron los del bicho. ¿Qué pasó? Sorry, did I catch you? What? No escuché nada. Ah, okay, Esa okay. Última parte. They are saying. So it's the same thing because I told him, okay, what about the taxes that you're paying? He says, okay, and the bicho is paying all the taxes? Well, now, nowadays, yes. It's, it's paid How can tax. you be sure? Since, well, it's, uh, I don't know if you're a psycho, they, well, well, they got in trouble about the taxes on, on Madrid. I guess. All right. Yeah, but now. Okay. So he got into trouble before, but he is still the best for you. Yeah. Still okay. So have you ever had or have you ever heard about any other player that is like, wow, amazing? That you can say, oh my gosh, I really admire this, this player. Can you tell me other one? Than the bicho? Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. What about soccer? Let's say in soccer. Uh huh. The what about player. Navas? Sorry, sorry. Which one, Carlos? The classics player like Maradona. I don't know. Pele. Yeah, those ones. Okay. They got into trouble Magic. with taxes in his decades. Messi. Yes. He got into I... trouble with taxes. I suppose, yes, yes, yes. So basically all the admirers, okay, so your best gift, the best gift for you, it would be someone that doesn't declare the taxes and he has issues, but he is the, the wow, the angel for you. Even if he doesn't declare declare taxes. Mm -hmm. All the people declare taxes. Everybody. Everybody. But okay. imagine... I declare taxes. Do you admire me for doing that? No. No, because everybody does it. But imagine you have a, a person over there. He is the love of everybody, of all the guys, I'm guessing, or at least 80% of the guys. The people here says, no importa si soy hombre, yo me voy a besar al bicho. Everybody says that, right? So, <laughs> or most of them. So guys, if you have there uh, someone that is, oh my gosh, but he got into trouble. Do you still admire him for anything? You didn't care. You don't care about it. No, your love is es mayor. Your love, yeah. Uh, I think uh, the principal fact is the bicho is a person, just like that. It's a person like that. So uh, maybe in five years, somebody else will be famous um work more than him so the picture will yeah. be forget it yes that is true actually i'm agree with that there are all the new generation that are coming and that are very good players uh, actually what is the name of the french the famous el francés mbappe, mbappe. mbappe. yeah he's a kid and he's one of the best plays right now, right? He He's so good. I have another one. It's also Gabby. He's, he's pretty famous right now. I, I like him. Which one? Helen. Yes, too. Yes. So I think that what Carlos says is very, is true. One day we are going to forget about all the one, all the other ones because there are new generations that are coming. 
So that is true. All right, guys. So pretty good debate. Me gustó. Me gusta hacerles preguntando y sacándoles. No es tanto un debate, sino que es para preguntarles a ver qué me decían. I really like. ¿Cómo se sintieron la actividad? Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. Nice pelearse un ratito. No, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bien, chicos. So, that was everything for today. Mañana tienen clase, les recuerdo, porque no tuvimos clase el día lunes. Entonces, mañana no me vayan a salir con que se van a conectar tres pelones, que a los otros pelones que no se conecten los mando a hacer planas de 50 veces al verb to be. ¿Ok? So, tomorrow you have, cl you have classes, ¿ok? Uh, what other thing? You have to work on the platform, and tomorrow we are going to be done with the last activity and the last chapter, ¿ok? So, ¿tienen preguntas, dudas o algo, chicos? ¿O estamos bien? ¿Bien? Todo bien. Muchísimo. Bien, chicos. Bien, entonces espero que la actividad les haya gustado un poquitito, eh, se hayan divertido un poquito, hayan despabilado la mente un poquito. Y me gustó mucho que utilizaron bastantes comparativos, que es lo que yo les pedí. So, I really appreciate that. Very good with your grammar. You are practicing and you are, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Destrabando la lengua. So, I really like that. Me gusta eso de ustedes. So keep working, guys. I, I'm so proud of all of you because you're improving a lot and very quickly. So keep working on it. I'm going to see you tomorrow and I hope you have a very nice evening, okay? So take care, guys. See you. See you. See you. See you. Take care.